Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise for a point of personal privilege. The delegate has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker and ladies and gentlemen of the House, all week you've heard about unique women for Women's History Month, some about our daughters that are changing the world, some about women that are historical in nature, and as we've heard from Delegate Tyler, even about some who sit among us in this body. Well, Mr. Speaker, I also rise to share a brief moment for Women's History Month because, you see, I happened to hear this very special story in passing and was so moved that I felt like we all needed to know. Mr. Speaker and ladies and gentlemen of this body, this story is about a little girl, a 13-year-old little girl, one that one day overheard her papa telling her older brother about the PAGE program and how he should consider applying. Well, her older brother did not want to sign up for the program, but she did. So with much excitement, she looked up at her papa and said, well, I want to be a page, papa. But without even as much as a second thought, he replied, oh, honey, girls can't be pages. To this little girl, that was not satisfactory. And Mr. Speaker, like many of the young girls and women who have the courage to overcome obstacles, like being denied opportunity, she did not accept her papa's answer and went on to apply to be a page anyway. Mr. Speaker, this little girl, unfortunately, was not accepted to be a page that year she applied, but I'll tell you what did happen. Instead of allowing her to be a page, she was offered a position in the bill room and went on become, to become the first female supervisor of that office. In addition, the very next year, in 1973, the first girl page was accepted to the page program. Mr. Speaker, I don't know if many in this body know, but that little girl was our very own Sharon Crouch Steidel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, Sharon likely forever changed our very own PAGE program. And because of her, countless young girls from all over the Commonwealth have been given the prestigious opportunity to be PAGES. So Mr. Speaker, I ask that you all join me in celebrating our very own Sharon Crouch Dydell for her personal achievements, the impact that she has had on this institution, and all that she does for each and every one of us. And every time you go on to push your blue page button and someone's daughter comes to assist you, remember Sharon's papa saying, oh, honey, girls can't be pages, and how far we've come since then. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.